back here uh, into my living room, of course. But graduation is going to look a little bit different for all kinds of schools, no matter the grade or the age. Elementary, uh, maybe your child's graduated from eighth grade, or high school, or even college. And it's going to look a lot different at Arizona State University as well. So joining us this morning is founding dean Chris Callahan of the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism. Uh, good morning to you, Dean Callahan. Nice to chat with you this morning. Professor Rodriguez, good to see you. Oh, nice to see you as well. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, I am a proud professor there at Cronkite, and I've loved my time there. I'm a graduate as well. Um, things have been pretty different for us there at the college. Can we start from the beginning and uh, talk about the transition when this whole pandemic began, uh, what that transition was like for uh, the Walter Cronkite School? Yeah, well, Celeste, as you know, remarkably, it's been only eight weeks. Doesn't it seem like much longer? Um, and and we really had... 96 hours for you and the rest of our professors to completely transform our curriculum from an on-the-ground traditional learning environment to completely remote. We had exactly four days to do that. Um, and, and I'm so proud of our professors who were able to make that transition to show that adaptability and be ready to hit the ground running that Monday morning when we were back in this remote environment. And I think especially difficult, Dean Callahan, because it's a video platform, right? I mean, what we do in news is we create stories from video, we meet people in the field, we interview them. And so that was the big challenge on trying to teach these students how to do that. Well, that's exactly right, Celeste. I, mean, I think there were all sorts of challenges for, for every discipline and for every student uh, trying to learn. But I think particularly in journalism and and other disciplines like music and the arts and the like, where it's much more hands-on, uh, I, I think that made that transition even more difficult. But I will tell you, and, and you've seen this firsthand, you've seen this uh, up, up close and personal, our students were remarkable. Uh, they adapted, they showed, I thought, tremendous creativity in continuing not just to learn, but produce important news for our community and, and, and just show a level of, of perseverance, of grit, uh, that I think will serve them well uh, long into the future. Yeah, I think you're right. Absolutely. And so let's get right to the convocation. That still is going to happen. It's going to be online this, this spring, right? Well, that's right, Celeste. And, and, I, and keep in mind, we are inviting all graduates from the May 2020 class to come back in December and to participate in our traditional graduation ceremonies. And if they can't make it then, to come back next May. But we wanted to mark this point in time for them. So the university and the individual schools have created virtual uh, graduation ceremonies, which I have to say I'm, I'm really excited about. And, and on the university side for commencement, uh, our students will get to hear uh, President Crow and, and other dignitaries uh, give, uh, give remarks and their advice to our graduating students. Um, but then each individual college will do their own. And uh, I'm particularly excited, of course, about what we're doing at the, at the Cronkite School, uh, thanks to uh, the great efforts of our assistant dean, Melanie Alvarez, and Professor Jim Jacoby. It's going to be really cool. It is. And, and as we wrap up, I do want to wish you a farewell. Can you uh, share with us? I mean, you have been with the Cronkite School founding dean there for many, many years, but you are now moving on uh, to become the president of a university. Congratulations. That, that Yes, thank, thanks so much, Celeste. Yes, well, starting July 1st, I'll be president of, of the University of the Pacific in Northern California. And I am tremendously excited about that, but it is very bittersweet. Uh, so as you know, I've been, uh, I've been at Cronkite and ASU for 15 years. Uh, absolutely love it. Feel like it is part of me. Um, and uh, I will certainly miss it. And, and I, will tell, I will say on a personal note, it's hard not to be able to say goodbye to our students uh, and our faculty and yeah. staff in person. Uh, so that that has been that has been difficult. Yeah, for sure. Dean Callahan, thank you so much for your time this morning. We wish you well, be uh, healthy and safe, and congratulations again on the new appointment. Thank you. Thank you, Celeste. Appreciate it. Thank you.